Hello lovelies and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Katia and today we're going to be watching Miracles in December and Christmas Day for EXO. So initially I did not know these two songs existed or rather I really forgot about Miracles in December. I don't think I actually knew about Christmas Day but I knew I knew of Miracles in December. I feel like they sang it during their killing voice. I think it's maybe popped up a couple times there in like some of the other compilation videos we've seen or like maybe one of the guides. And I thought initially the first snow was like that Christmas song that was always played for EXO. In my head, I thought that's what that was because it was really trending um, everywhere right now. So I thought that was like the Christmas song. And then when I got re-reminded and I was like looking around to see because someone had mentioned that they had more Christmas songs and I was like, oh cool, so let me see what they are. And I saw that it was Miracles in December. I was like, oh damn, maybe it's Miracles in December that is the song that everyone says is like the big Christmas song in like uh, South Korea. And I really could not remember anymore if it was or if it wasn't, that's what you guys were telling me. And I was just like, dang, I don't know anymore. So... In my fir the first no reaction that I did, I was saying that that was like the big Christmas song for them, for EXO, but maybe it's Miracles in December. I really don't remember now. And I think it's cute that they had like a whole like little Christmas mini album and for like the K unit too for XOK. And I think that is so crazy because I had no idea that that's, it was a unit song initially in for the first no and also for these ones as well. Like, I thought it was like a group thing, but I guess not. This is like early on, but I forgot to, that these songs came out literally like 10 years ago, right? Like about, about 10 years ago. It was literally like around debut time. So, makes sense. And now I can finally listen to Miracles in December. I feel like that is the song that I remember that is in the killing voice that I thought was really pretty. So, I'm really excited to see this one. I have no idea what Christmas Day sounds like. I don't think I've ever heard a snippet of it before in like any of the videos. I don't think I have. I can't say for certain, but I don't feel like I have. So that one's going to be like a whole new one for me. I know I've heard snippets of Miracles in December, but I can't think of like how the tune goes off the top of my head, but I just know I've heard it a little bit already. And for Miracles in December, it does have a video, which is cool. Um, Christmas Day doesn't have one, so we're going to be watching um, the video for Miracles in December, and then Christmas Day is going to have the lyric video and then later I'm gonna watch a full performance not in this video but I will watch the full performance um like a live performance with all the songs so look forward to that but without further ado let's just go ahead and jump straight into the video yes I do remember now and you're hearing the tune this is the one I heard from the killing voice I, that piano is very familiar Oh, it looks like a baby. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't even realize. Oh my god, no captions. <gasps> oh, there's none anyway. Okay, I figured, but you know, thought it just came to me, so let's continue. Let's continue. Dang, hold on. There we go. Oh, it's cute. It still has like the other members in it too. Oh, late. <laughs> Oh, 
Harmony. No, no tears. Honestly, not gonna lie, I almost felt like crying myself, but I held myself back. That was so cute. That was so sad. It felt so sad. Like, obviously, I couldn't understand what they were saying. Um, without some captions, but I could just feel it. I felt like literally crying. I felt like my eyes watered just like a little bit, but I held myself back because I was like, I can't cry right now. I'm not in the condition to be crying. Uh, but it was hard. It really, I really felt it in that one. It was a really beautiful song. Um, I love the harmonies, the vocals. It really was just, um, it was Baekhyun, Chen, and Dio singing for this one, which is interesting because it's, oh, it says Korean version on this one. <laughs> um, not necessarily an XOK unit song. Should have read that more clearly, but it does say Korean version. Okay, so that makes more sense because I was confused as why Chen was singing initially. Um, but I was like, I mean, I'm here for it. I love his voice, so I wasn't complaining. I was just confused. I was like, um, I was like, but he's in the other unit. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Now I get it. I get it. But it's very cute. I'm glad all the members were still like in the music video in itself because I they did that for like Mama too. Uh, when they did both of the music videos, they, all the members were still included in the whole video. So that was cool. But this was like really sweet. It was just, it felt so sad. I need to look up what the lyrics are because I feel like it'll still break me even more once I read them. And the acting in this one, I really felt it. I feel like they do really well expressing the emotions of the song. Um, both those who were singing and those who obviously were not were just moving along in the music video like it just it just hurt a little bit and i was like why why are they trying to hurt me i thought it was cool that they also still incorporated um aspects of like their powers and everything even though obviously it wasn't like right in your face like there was just like obviously the subtle little things um like the one who stopped like the clock and like rewound it at least that's what it looked like he's like snapped his fingers the clock stopped and then the it started rewinding I don't remember which member specifically he was, name-wise, so you have to forgive me. Um, but still, I mean, I thought he acted very well. I felt like I could read his emotions really well in his face. Um, and I always think the three of them, Baekhyun, 
Shen and Dio always like really express themselves really well when they're singing. Like I think they portray those emotions really, really well. Like you can just see all the feelings like in their eyes and how they sing and everything is just so beautiful. And when you think about it, like this is like early, early days, like year, this is like what? This came out 10 years ago. So that's um, 2013, right? About. So you figure this is like around, you know, their early days and they're still at that point showing such professionalism which is really cool to see like not everyone in their early days can portray like such acting ability or being able to express such emotions with their songs like that's something like that's really hard to do i think for when idols are first starting out is being able to express those emotions really well when you're singing like i feel like that's something really hard to do like that's something you really have to feel and I feel like they all did really well both who were singing and those who were not it was really beautiful I really loved it all right so we're gonna be moving on to Christmas Day now this is also just a lyric video no music video so we get to see some lyrics with this one get to know what they're saying this time around I think the picture for this one is so cute this little Christmas tree that they have formed is adorable truly truly cute I'm wondering who's gonna be singing in this one I'm assuming at least the same three Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it's a little bit more cheerful. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. I yell into my ear. Wait, hold on, hold on. We're gonna restart. We're gonna restart because I was messing with the volume. Alright. I'm paying. I'm here. This song though. He looks like a little boy with his haircut. I was not expecting Lady to be on this song! Ah! Oh my god, what if they're all on it? <laughs> Aww, that's cute! Oh, that's cute. The vibe of this song is so good. It's like kind of jazzy. Soul. Oh, 
was beautiful. That was really pretty. This one was definitely um, on the cuter side, on the more loving side. Um, then Miracles in December. Miracles in December felt, you know, like a heartbreak. This one felt like a lot of love was being told in this one. I mean, love could have been told in Miracles in December, but obviously I wouldn't know. But at least in this one, it was like a happy love. It was really cool also to see, um, like, Leia in the song as well. Like, it was such a shock. I love that boy. Oh, he was so cute. I mean, granted, he didn't have, like, a big part in the song. He had, like, his moment, and then he kind of came in at little moments doing his little, I guess you could say ad-libs, harmonying, harmon harmonizing, harmonizing. Um, with other members, which is really cute. And not all the members were on the song. Um, either way, it was only a few of the members, um, including one of them who left. I don't remember his name, so I do apologize. Uh, but he still had a really good voice. I really enjoyed his part as well. Um, those those who I expected to be on it were on it. I didn't see like Chenyeol. I didn't see Sehun or Kai. As long with the other members who left. Um, but I feel like that was it. I feel like they were the only ones who weren't singing for this track. I could be wrong, but I felt like I didn't see their pictures um, pop up. And sometimes it was only like small parts for some of the other members. Like I feel like Sul only had like very small like little parts, but he still was included. Same thing with like Shuman. I think Shuman was also really small as well into the song. But I still, you know, saw him, clocked him, but he still, he always sounds so good. So I loved it. Um, but it was definitely a happy song. It was definitely a cute song. Definitely um, very sweet, you know, kind of like that f that feeling of Christmas Day was really endearing. I really liked it. I love, like, the pictures that was for this, this album, mini concept, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's very adorable. Like, the hair, though, is so funny because they look so young. They make them look like like teenagers. I mean, I know some of them were at this point, but even still, they look so small and tidy and young with those haircuts that they have. Uh, very adorable though. They kind of give, it gives, gives Christmas vibes. But the overall like very vibe of the song is very like soulful slash like a little jazzy, um, a little bit. It gave me like early 2000s feel, um, like a vibe from the 2000s and I really liked it. It just felt very reminiscent um what is the word i'm looking for nostalgic in a way that's the word i think i think i was looking for it's very nostalgic feeling and i really liked it it was really fun it was really beautiful i can't wait to see this one live i honestly can't wait to see all of them live in a live performance i feel like the vocals are going to be killing it and they're just going to be sounding so good this is such also can i just say like an interesting concept like i don't feel like i see a lot of idols in general coming out with like christmas themed songs like it's i feel like for me at least it's very rare to see um and it could be just like the idols i listen to don't come out with christmas content a lot so um to see like they have like a whole like mini album basically or ep i don't know if it's long enough to be considered an album maybe like an ep um to have like christmas themed songs on it which is really really cool like you know it's fun to like kind of get those into um along with like your normal um, kind of content. Also, one more thing, lovelies, before I sign off. I saw yesterday we got a thousand subscribers. We finally reached a thousand. I am, like, so shocked, honestly, that we came to this point. I don't, didn't think, honestly, that my content would be entertaining enough for people to continuously come back to it. Um, and for people to subscribe to my channel. But I'm glad you guys find me entertaining enough to return back to here and watch my content and um, cheer and support for me as you guys have done. You guys have literally been amazing. Always very sweet um, in the comment section. Always very supportive. Always leaving such kind messages and um, great recommendations as always. You guys really have been amazing. I really appreciate all the support. Especially, you know, there's times when I'm slacking. I don't mean to, you know, just things come up. Busy schedules or, you know, I'm feeling sick. You know, right now is both for me. I'm feeling both sick and busy schedules. So it's a hard time for me. But I'm glad you guys have been so understanding. Um, and very patient with me because I know I can be very slow and I do apologize. I do apologize for that. But thank you for always sticking around for these past few months that the channel has been up. I do appreciate you guys.
But other than that, lovelies, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Continue to leave your recommendations down in the comment section. And if you want to see me check out more EXO or other K-pop content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But other than that, lovelies, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!